As New Yorkers celebrate Lunar New Year, there's a renewed effort to make the celebration official. Last week, Congresswoman Grace Meng reintroduced legislation to make it the 12th federal holiday. She is the first and only Asian member of Congress from New York State, and she joins me now over Zoom. Good morning, and thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Now, before we talk about your proposed legislation, we can't ignore what happened this weekend in Monterey Park, California. I'm wondering what your thoughts are about this tragedy that happened during a Lunar New Year celebration. It was really devastating to wake up and to see and hear the news of what had happened just a few hours later when Asian Americans across the nation and world were celebrating uh, Asian Lunar New Year. And my heart's really go out uh, to the families and to the community uh, and the many who lost loved ones. Um, it's devastating that uh, that happened on the holiday, the very night where people gather uh, with their family and loved ones to celebrate. Uh, and, you know, it's really uh, important that we continue to stand strong and united together uh, and, and keep all of them in our hearts and prayers. And the past few years have been difficult for the Asian American community. What are your hopes for the new year? Well, you know, a lot of us were saying, I hope 2023 will be a smoother and a more peaceful year. Uh, and then we saw what had happened in Monterey Park. Uh, I really hope that this, uh, again, demonstrates why it's so important for us to speak up against any words and actions of hate and bias uh, towards Asian Americans, but towards any community. Well, let's talk about your proposal. Why is it so important to officially recognize Lunar New Year? Well, this effort sort of stemmed from when I was a kid growing up in New York City. Uh, I always wondered why uh, we were not able to celebrate uh, a day off from public schools for Lunar New Year. Uh, and then uh, after many years of efforts with the community, uh, we worked with then Mayor de Blasio to make it a reality. Uh, and so now New York City public school kids, uh, when the holiday falls on a weekday, they get the day off. And so we're hoping to make that push uh, national uh, to make sure that one of the most important holidays for the fastest growing communities in this country uh, can also be recognized. And you say it's more than just a day off from work or school. What else is the holiday about? Well, a holiday uh, is something that is not just about taking time off from school or from work. As we've seen here in New York with holidays like Lunar New Year and Eid that were added to the uh, school holiday calendar, uh, they are also uh, seeing and teaching about these holidays and the culture and the people and the contributions of different diverse communities uh, and the contributions they've made to our city and hopefully one day uh, understand the contributions they've made to our country. The last term, your efforts did stall. What do you think the chances are of your legislation passing this term? I know it won't be easy, but we come uh, to this effort with the same spirit and the same hopefulness that we had when we were passing our museum bill to create the first National Asian American Museum in Washington, D.C. Uh, we're thankful for those in the community and those beyond the Asian American community who have stepped up to help us. And so we still remain hopeful that this will one day become reality. Now, it is the year of the rabbit. Can you talk about what that symbolism means and the kind of year we can expect? Sure. Well, I'm actually a rabbit myself. Ah. Don't calculate my age. <laughs> um, but it is a symbol for loyalty, for steadfastness, for peace. And that is really what we are hoping for this year. And there is some controversy this year that New York City students didn't get the day off because the holiday began on a weekend. What are your thoughts about that? Well, this has been uh, a concern since the holiday was first initiated. And uh, like many other holidays, when the holiday falls on a weekend, uh, students will not have the day off. But when it falls on a weekday, just like with other holidays, they will get the day off. What's your favorite way to celebrate the Lunar New Year? I think it's making dumplings with <laughs> our family. It's not an easy task, and my hands get sore the next day, um, <laughs> but it's really something that brings everyone together, takes a group effort, and makes everyone happy at the end when they're eating them.
It really does. I'm not very good at making them, but I ate a lot of dumplings and noodles last night from a restaurant. Anyway, <laughs> Congresswoman Grace Meng, thank you so much for joining us and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you.